Oh, still under 40 videos, video, minutes video time. Right. Um, there's no better feeling than to be able to go to the shop some money in your purse and be able to go to the shop and buy what the friggin' hell you want without worrying. So, I thought I'd treat myself. Got some toilet rolls. Oh, no. No, 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 it's a screw top. It's going to be rank. Oh, screw top Prosecco is not the same. I'm not happy about that. I didn't see that when I bought it. So, I thought, I'm always starving all the time. But I need to do some shopping. Bought a packet of back of front shop. Hmm. Thought I'd have a bag of crisp. And these two are so famous on TikTok and YouTube. Guys, I bought you crisp. I bought you Chris and charity Christmas sausage roll campaign. Look at that. Yes. So I've got some sausage roll flavoured crisp. I cannot wait to try them out. I'm going to do a TikTok later on with them. Uh, no sausage rolls were armed in the making of these crisps, but it contains no sausage roll, contains flavouring only. Uh, and what else did I get from the shop? No. Where's the mud all over my bag? Have I just carried bag that street with mud all over it? Oh, that that's horrible, screw top Prosecco. It's a good job I've got half a bottle left at other to get me half pissed, and I won't notice how crap this is. Um, Because I've already got like half a bottle in my fridge. Is it half a bottle? Three quarters of a bottle in my fridge. Um, I'll mine uh, till I've found out what's wrong with me. Just in case it's so serious, I might just uh, stop drinking until I get my results of all my stuff I've got to go through. I'm still waiting for my national insurance number being put up. Oh, and has anybody here ever been drug tested? You know, like in your job, if you smoke cannabis or take any form of drugs whatsoever. Has any of you ever had a drug test? Well, I have. And I've been drug tested a few times. Why? Because I have. Because I used to get into trouble with police all the time, didn't I? Anyway, each time I've been tested, I've been tested positive, right? You're talking about a pro here. I've been tested positive, so I will fail all drug tests, no matter what, right? And I will fail, I'll tell you why, because I take cocodamol. And what it contains in cocodamol is a drug. So, I'd fail the test anyway. <laughs> Do you think I'm going to drive and smoke weed at the same time? Yeah, that's possible. Not. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just thought I'd put that out there. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know why I, I have, because I feel like getting it off my chest. Simply. That's all. You know what I mean? Uh, but, uh, yes, uh, I've failed drug tests in past. So, you know, it's called taking cocodamol. It uh, instantly gives you a drug fail. Once the police was trying to get a sample off me for about three hours. It kept coming in and getting a bit, coming in and getting a bit. My mouth were way too dry, they couldn't get a sample. I kept saying, darlings, darlings, it's going to fail. I'm going to fail it. I take a cotton ball, so it's going to fail anyway. Oh, I failed. Did I get done for it? No. <laughs> Last time I got in trouble with police war, a few years back now, and uh, my neighbours had had windows put through. I'd had mine put through. And then she got hers put through. Uh, and I went round cleaning the floor. And the police were there. And they were going, stop it. You're, 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 you're sweeping evidence up. I went, there's a child there running about. There's glass all over the floor. I'm sweeping it. If you don't stop right now, I'm arresting you. 
Uh, you're not telling me what to do. Moan straight in, cop car, handcuffed. I was saying to last, open the freaking car door. Open the car door, let me get out of here and run. Open the car door now, I don't know who I am. Open the car door. I'm going to dare, I dare. No, I'm going to do a run away cuffs on. <laughs> because I got to bed drunk. And got up drunk like I did the other day. So, I got myself in trouble, didn't I? Twelve hours I went locked in themselves. Twelve hours. And when I got out, I told them, I said, listen. I said, I'm sick of people abusing me. I've had my windows put through. I've had loads of shit. And you are doing nap all. So, I went listen to the police. I went, that's why I got locked up. That's why I got locked up. So, I admitted what I'd done wrong. And uh, after that, they, they gave me a bollocking. And I had to go to this place at Wakefield where I can talk to people. You can get in touch with them anytime just to help you out with stuff. If you're struggling, uh, if you're depressed or all like that, there is a place where you can book in and go. I might go when I've got my car. And... Um, Anyway, I went and spoke to this woman and she says, if you ever need to come back again for any reason or not, just get in touch with us and you're welcome to come and talk to somebody. I went, thank you. Uh, and I've never got into trouble since. And uh, they did actually get the police patrolling up and down after that. One one year, it was that bad. It was like a war with me and someone over at road. It was like a war. I won't say who it was because it's years ago now. And it was... Police even used to say to me, it's like there's a war going off on the street. You're on one side, they're on the other. It was crazy. It was, oh, my God, so much crap I've had in my time. Oh, I've always had to fight it. It's always been drama all my life. I don't get it. It must have made me really, really hard into stuff. Because I've got that much drama. I must be, my body and my brain must be used to the drama. Because I have literally got a lot going off at the minute. And that's no joke. I mean, councillors blabbed about me. Uh, I feel like police have let me down a lot. The uh, WDH, the uh, NHS system, if somebody's got into the computer and got my national show, uh, national health number and looked in, uh, on me, uh, I really hope they have. I hope they have because you will be traced. Any nurse knows that if they log into that computer, they're leaving a f footprint behind. They've got to type. They've got to. They've got a special key to get in that computer. And if somebody's gone in it and found my file, I just can't wait to see what happens because that one I won't let it drop. I will not let it drop. No way. I won't let the council drop, and I won't let the NHS thing drop. Not a chance. And I won't let it drop with police until something gets done because my life is up, upside down at minute. Nobody has a clue how much. But I still keep going on every day. That's why I'm not making as many videos. Do you know what I mean? I'm also on TikTok. I haven't made many on there. Uh, I'm running out of dance moves and stuff. But, um, yeah, I have got a lot going off. And I want to thank everybody for all the support, what you always give me and all love. And I will get back into making more videos, I promise you. But I've got so much to deal with. Um... Just saying pathway to cancer is freaking shit out of me. So, you know, then I was reading my letter off hospital today and I forgot about that puncher thing. If you were putting it up and the punch had me punctured somewhere and I had to have an emergency operation, who's going to look after my freaking dogs? You know, I'll go for a minor procedure and end up having a, 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 an operation. I'm thinking loads of things. I need to get it out of my head. The closer you get it, oh, I've even got to have a COVID test. I don't know who's going to take me on and I'm getting there, but it's at South Emsel, so I'm going to need help and it's on second. So uh, I'm going to have to catch bus there or something. I have no idea how to get there. I haven't been there for ages. I think even if I had a car, I won't, I'd get lost. Oh, help me, Lord, please. <sighs> anyway, I'm going for now, but I will see you later. Hopefully, I'll come back and do another bit. I'm going to nip up a ticket talker. You know what it's like, don't you? I'm trying to get to 35k for tomorrow. I've had a bet with somebody, a tenner. But, but, she hasn't answered to the bet. So, if I don't get 35k by tomorrow night at 12 o'clock, it doesn't matter. Because I won't lose. Now, if she'd have put that, that uh, yeah, I agree with this bet, I would, uh, I would, so if I don't get 35k, I ain't going to pay her. Because she hadn't agreed with the bet, do you know what I mean? I gave her my word. She didn't give me hers. So, whether I get 35000 or not, it ain't going to cost me any money. <laughs> I won't gain none, but I'll gain followers. But I won't win. I won't win any money. Keep your money, darling. I think it were an eight. And anyway, what said it and it backfired? <laughs>